Alrighty, so we're on the uh, Telluride side of Imogen. So we come up here, we had nice lunch in Imogen. We're just waiting for a couple guys to come down the trail. Everything's gonna be good. A little bit tight. It's looking like it's gonna be a fun trail. A couple mines on this side, I think three mines on this side. It looks like up here it's gonna get a little on the narrow side. There's five more coming down right now. Real, real nice narrow road. Up and around. We could not ask for better weather. We decided to drop the top in the Jeep. Get some nice panoramic views, get some sun. And then uh, right over there, that's Telluride Ski Area. So let's go hit the trail. It's pretty nice to say I finally made it up this way. Back in 2015, me and two other people from our group, we uh, couldn't make it up here because of snow. So, it was snowing pretty good. I really think we got stopped somewhere. Right around there. I think right around there is where we had to turn around. So it's nice to finally be up here at the summit. Once again, we couldn't ask for any better weather. It is just absolutely phenomenal up here. Almost no wind. Almost unlimited visibility. You actually see in the Telluride, the airport. Not really sure what's in this building here. It's got some solar panels. I assume that's probably a ham radio antenna repeater station. I don't think there's any weather stations up this way. But uh, it's really nice to finally say I made it up in image. Now it's just the uh, nice way in. Tommy Boy Payson, we didn't have time. I didn't have time to break out the cameras, unfortunately. That was just really, really ginormous sight. Be really cool to find out what that looked like during its heyday. It was, uh, I mean, it's just ginormous. I don't think I've seen a bigger mining site operation there before. There's the uh, tower here with some big radio towers. Looks like they used to have some type of aerial antenna here at one point. Tommy Boy Basin somewhere, Tommy Boy, right down there, there's a, that's where we had to come up, that switch back, see some mining operations still up that way, there's still some snow from the winter, but uh, yeah, really, really awesome to be up here. All right, so we are here at Photo Rock. It's about halfway down the, the uh, pass to Upper Camp Bird. I believe there's four Camp Birds down here. So we're gonna uh, come down this shelf road. And 
that shelf road, and then right down there, that's C Camp Bird. You can see where all the how the spoils are. And there's a little house down there. There's a mine just uh, in front of that house, directly in front of that house, uh, where the spoils are. And then uh, up this way is uh, there's another mine up that way. I forget the name of it, top of my head. But it's really cool over here. You can see how the landslide it was at one point, just completely. You can see just how it all spilled out it's right down here. It's so amazing to see. It's, uh, the Rockies here are just an amazing natural phenomenon. Once again, we couldn't ask for better weather. We were so blessed that we have this great weather. There's no, no moisture, no smoke from all the fires. I think that's some smoke out there on the horizon, but. We cannot complain about this this uh this one. Alright, so here we are at Upper Camp Bird, or it's Camp Bird number two level. I've seen different names for this. A structure here. Um, I don't really know what that stuff is down there. All part of the mining operation. And further up that way, the Jeep trail goes 0.79 miles up to another mine. Not really sure what this structure is. Some nice foundation, so um, this must be later 1800s, 1900s. So. Oh, the back for more, huh? <laughs> 